Hello Potato, and welcome to the video. If you've gotten to this video without seeing the, the title or the thumbnail, like perhaps you dozed off and YouTube was on autoplay and you just woke up to me saying this, uh, you may still have some idea just from looking what this video is going to be about. It is, of course, as of this recording, very nearly Easter. And it's also been a while since we've done, like, any real LEGO building on this channel. And since we are going to be doing rather a bit of it in the coming weeks and months, because it's been a number of years since I've put up my summer displays, and I do intend to do them this year, and I have a number of kits for both of them that will need to be built, I thought we would get ready for Easter by having ourselves a little visit from the Easter Bunny via kit. 3113, the White Rabbit. It's a creator three in one. You can also make a seal or a, was it a cockatoo? Cockatiel? A bird of some sort. But of course, I'm going to make the White Rabbit. Now, this rabbit's not created as an Easter rabbit. And of course, it's also not totally created because this happens to be the year of the rabbit, just like last year's tiger kit had nothing to do with it being the year of the tiger. But it has also nothing to do with like Alice in Wonderland, because it is, it is definitely the White Rabbit. But they are pushing it as an Easter kit right now, and uh, that's why I bought it. I never did buy the Tiger kit last year. So I thought, you know, we would have ourselves a little, uh, little pre-Easter fun, get ready for the Easter basket special that will be in a couple of weeks. Uh, the Easter Bunny is bringing me another basket full of blind bag goodies that we will open for Easter, but that's still a couple of weeks away. If you're watching this video now, and by now, by now I mean when the video first comes out, as opposed to now being when you're watching it potentially got 10 years in the future, who knows? Uh, I mean, if YouTube hasn't decided that they needed the space and completely deleted all of my nonsense. But as of, as of, as of the now that I'm recording this and the now that I'm releasing it, it's still a couple weeks to Easter. That's enough babbling, let's look at the kit. So, kit 3113 is 258 pieces. We are gonna do the rabbit build which is going to include a, um, a carrot and some sort of a flower, presumably one that rabbits like to eat. But yeah, you can do a seal or you can do a bird with looks like a bit of a branch. The bird comes with a little bit of, bit of branch. Well, the seal comes with a fish, it looks like. Now, I think the, bran the branch is separate. Yeah, the branch doesn't appear to actually... That's just a display idea. That actually is not like made out of Legos. That's like a 3D rendered Minecrafty looking thing. Well, I guess it's not Minecrafty. It's not a cube. Anyways, it's for ages eight and up. This kit came out, uh, I think, at the beginning of the year. It, again, too, honestly, yes. It, it's, this came out because it is Year of the Rabbit. Last year they had the Tiger for Year of the Tiger. But they aren't marketing it as such. It's just kind of letting you draw your own conclusion that if it happens to also tie in to the Easter season, well, there's no harm there either. But at 258 pieces, I feel like this is not going to be a very big or uh, very long build. It's like clamshells for the feet. That's interesting. It's a thumb punch box. Let's punch our thumbs and get out our bricks. A lot of white. I don't really get a lot of white stuff in the things that I build. I, I don't build like Arctic sets or anything. I don't think they even make any Arctic sets right now, do they? It's like just two bags of parts, so not a whole lot to go on there. You do get, oh, that's cute. You do get a uh, manual for each build, which is very different. When I was, when I was, when I was young, when I was a little kid, uh, Lego kits always had like multiple builds displayed on the box. Even if it was like a city kit, it all, you know, they were always kind of this creative style where they showed you two other builds you could do instead, but they never gave you the instructions. And this is pre-internet, so it's like you couldn't even go and get them online. You had to figure out how to build it yourself, which I suppose would help you become a master builder in your own right. But nowadays, nowadays, we make it a little simpler. We actually give you a little book for each build, although the rabbit seems to be the thickest book. Uh, the, the seal and the, oh, they don't have QR codes either. The seal and the bird do not get their own QR codes, and they're much thicker books. Rabbit is definitely our main build, probably because it's the one that uses most of the parts. There's probably some uh, some random stuff left over. But there's our QR code if you are interested in such things. 
And of course, now I guess you can just go on the LEGO app and bring the instructions up without needing the QR code. How many steps are we looking at here? Well, seven steps for the carrot. That's... How many steps for the rabbit itself? It doesn't, uh... 87. Well, I guess 88. 88 being building both ears. So that should be a pretty quick build. Maybe we'll put some, some springtime music on, or probably just something like kind of maybe chip tuny with a beat. I don't know. I haven't edited this yet because I'm still recording it. When I've edited it, you'll know. So yeah, we have our two bags of bits. Lots and lots of white. Well, of course, the bag, that bag has the extra bits in it. And of course, um, if uh, you are watching this when it first comes out, Lego is also doing a thing in the Lego store where you can get like a little Lego Easter basket kit and a little like chicken and egg set. And uh, those are very cute. Uh, I would encourage you. And, and the buy-in is much more reasonable. We've had a lot of this year, a lot of like $200, $250 buy-in levels for things. And uh, this time it's only like 70 And I wonder if it's because there's no minifigures involved. I think a lot of these bigger sets, the bigger buy-in amounts anyways, have been for kits that came with minifigures. And these uh, these rabbits is kind of like, um, well, these, these are both promo kits, old promo kits. He did not come with uh, this kit. They uh, they were part of a minifigure series. I just put them with it because I, I felt it was inappropriate that the rabbit house didn't come with a rabbit. But anyways, uh, that's that's not relevant to this build. So I guess I should just stop talking. We'll get to the fast forward. We'll get it built, and then we'll see what we think about it when it's done. So now, to the fast forward. And there we have it, the rabbit build of kit 31133, the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 White Rabbit. Now, the other the flower here. It still does seem a little out of place with this set, until you remember that if you were doing the bird build, you need some bright yellow pieces for the head. And would you look at that, there they are. 
So it's a way of making those pieces that were otherwise unnecessary for the rabbit still be usable in this build, which is nice. Because, you know, sometimes in these kits that have alternate builds, I'm thinking particularly of like the Christmas wreath and the Christmas tree from last year, have pieces that are only used in alternate builds. They aren't used in the main build. They've done a good job, I think, in this of making everything be used in the main build. And, uh, you know, no, nothing other than like the usual kind of assortment of leftover pieces. You know, we have the one or two extras of some of the, the, the lighter pieces, the ones that naturally just fall in the bag extra. The carrot, of course, is much more fitting for this set because it's a rabbit. And I don't know if you saw, I tried to kind of zoom in on it first. Well, not zoom in, but, but hold, fo hold focus on it for a second. But in the center of the rabbit, there is a little heart. There's an extra one here, so I'm showing it to you this one. There was a little heart in there. I don't think we can get to it. This doesn't just come off. Though. No, because these pieces, I think, hold it together. You have to take apart a good amount of the rabbit to get back to where that heart is. But it's, it's right in there. But yeah, we'd have to kind of dissect the rabbit to get to it. And I'm not going to do that. You can, you can roll back the video into the fast forward and see that again. So, is it a rabbit? Yes. I mean, as with some of these kind of animal builds, uh, when they're partially built, they are a little nightmare fuel-y. But once you get there, you're there. I do need to adjust his eyes some. He's a little... It's actually not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but the eyes could be... um. Maybe facing the same direction, just a little bit better. So lots of points of articulation on him. You could give you some, uh, a little bit of variety of how you want to pose him. I mean, he's a rabbit. There's only so much he can do, but yeah, you have, you have some, uh, some room for, for work here. The ears though, I'm not, I'm not, not in love with the ears because this is, a, see, that's why. That is as far up as they go if you want to have the pink facing forward. If you want to have them like this, well then yeah, you can go all the way up, which is also unnatural, so I would say don't do that. I just, I don't like the way his ears look. Maybe I will figure out like the magic formula of how they should be placed to look right. But uh, the, uh, the ears just don't look right to me. The mouth does open and close, which is nice. It's a lot of these kind of ball sockets again, which um, I've talked about in past videos. I have had some bad luck with some of these ball socket things, kind of over time cracking and crumbling and rendering a kit utterly, utterly useless. But uh, here we are again. And that it is kind of one of the ways to get articulation out of Lego was these ball sockets. And I can't fault them for it. Instead, I do fault them for the fact that they uh, they do, for some reason, become brittle over time. Which, I mean, I've heard that before. Other people talk about that with gray bricks in general. That gray pieces do tend to kind of get the glass brick syndrome more easily than a lot of other colors do. So, yeah, he's not overtly Eastery because he's just a rabbit. But, you know, that's fine if you if you put him by some Eastery accoutrements. I think he now looks suitably Easter. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little build. It's a little bit more involved than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I thought at 258 pieces, it would be a very fast build. It took a little longer than I thought it was going to. I like the little clamshell feet. I think they look good as rabbit feet. I don't think I have any, any kits that came with these pieces. I feel like these are probably ones that come with more undersea kits or perhaps like mermaidy kind of stuff, like maybe in the friends sets. So I don't have a lot of stuff that would have would would have come with those. A lot of round pieces on here too. Um, I mean, we're still we're nowhere near like studs not on top territory. But I guess you could mount a minifigure back there. Hold on, there we go. Now Boba Fett, get like a chain and. Boba Fett's riding a giant white rabbit. Okay, that that's 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 lame. Uh, but still, you could you could do something like that if you wanted to incorporate this into a minifigure build to have a giant rabbit. 
it's you know it's all imagination right you do what you want to do i do feel like this is fairly well put together so i mean if you're giving it to a child to play with it is for ages eight and up but i feel like it's fairly sturdy for a kid to play with it um yeah it's overall not bad i mean it's a little weird when you look at it from behind just because the body is so thin because you know you have like the, the haunches here to try to, to like give it the mass but also to give it the flexibility for posability like like so or you know however you want uh, I, don't know, I feel like you know, it's getting some getting some playing with we have a lot of a lot of room for uh, rotation here though we have uh, little ankle joints we have joints up here at the shoulders and the hips you have a joint on the head you have joints on the ears you have an openable mouth what more could you want from a rabbit well maybe a tail of some sort some sort of a little i guess that is supposed to be the tail i don't know just it feels like could use like a, a, a fluffy cotton tail or something back there i don't know maybe that's a different breed of rabbit i have no idea what breed this is actually supposed to be and of course being lego there are not words in here lego is a brand of few words unless you're talking like you know the expensive ideas kits those tend to have lots of words yep yeah, it's a very cute set it's not a super complicated build it's just a little bit more involved than i thought it was going to be i did think it was going to be faster it took me oh what about an hour 20 hour 30 to put together which you know i guess value for money right it's Part of the fun of LEGO isn't just possessing completed kits, it's the building of them. And of course, you know, if you really want to, the demolishing and rebuilding of them. But yeah, it's a nice kit, nice for the season, nice for the year of the rabbit. And I suppose, you know, if you want to like... I'm, I'm guessing we will, over the next number of years, get the rest of the what, Chinese Zodiac, the lunar calendar uh, animals. So you can eventually just have an entire lunar calendar that you could put out every year if, if that's your thing uh kind of makes me sure about the, the uh, tiger last year but i didn't oh well but i like it it'll go for our easter stuff it'll probably stay with our easter stuff it's we don't really have a ton of lunar new year stuff although i do plan on maybe getting some more and doing lunar new year videos i do like that plush money tree we got this year but i'm rambling and nothing else to say about this it's nice it's cute it's not too difficult to build but it's uh I think for an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old who's maybe not, not like that, I, what am I saying? Everybody thinks their eight-year-old is advanced for their age, so your kid will do fine with it. Your kid's advanced for their age, like everybody's kids are, your kids will do fine with it. You used to hear that all the time when I worked in the toy store. Oh, well, he's only three, but he's advanced for his age. If, if every three-year-old is advanced for their age, then none of them are advanced for their age. It was yes, I'm definitely rambling now. I do like our rabbit. I, I don't know, maybe in the future might, you know, after Easter, maybe tear him down and try one of the other builds. But I think he's more than likely going to stay as a rabbit. Maybe if I see like this on sale, we'll buy another one and build a bird or a seal. But I think our rabbit's probably going to stay a rabbit. If I do change my mind or I do get another one, that'll probably be another video. But if this is getting you into more of the Easter mood, you got a couple weeks left to, or well, a couple weekends, a couple, couple Saturdays left, again, if you're watching this when it comes out, to do your Easter shopping. Don't wait until that last Saturday, though. If you haven't done it yet, first of all, you know, when you finish watching this video, go do it now. Get it done with. It's only going to be worse next weekend. If you go next weekend, it's going to only be worse if you go the Saturday before. I've worked in retail in a toy store. I can tell you, you don't want to be toy shopping on the day before Easter, if you can avoid it. Now, if you've done all your shopping, you just want to go out to, to kind of laugh at the people who waited the last minute, that's fine. Go grab a coffee, take a seat, and enjoy the show. But uh, don't be, don't be the show, be the audience. And with that bit of completely useless wisdom, I will wrap this video up. I hope you found it at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.